las ideas más oh. If everyone would please stand, las ideas más oh. las ideas. Bless his name. Come on, children, you can clap. First, giving honor to God, to our pastor, First Lady, and to all of you. I feel honored to be here this morning. I will be reading to you from Matthew 28, verses 1 through 10. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and other Mary to see the sepulchre and beyond there was a great earthquake for the angel of the lord descended from heaven 
and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like light, lightning, and his remnant white as snow. And for the fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. As he said, come and see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him. Lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulcher, sepulcher with fear and great joy and did run to bring his disciples word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them saying, all hail. And they came and held him by the feet and worshiped him. Then said Jesus unto them, be not afraid. Go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee and there shall they see me. Thank you and may God add a blessing to the reading of this word. Amen. Thank you for that beautiful scripture. He rose from the dead. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're having, we have a special treat for you today. Praise God. Hallelujah. I remember doing this when I was a little girl. I was about his height, Malik, Malik's height. Praise God. And just as young as he, praise God and all the children. Praise God. And at, time, at this time, we're going to start off. Praise God. We're going to start off with, you know what? We didn't have a welcome. We didn't have anyone to do a welcome address, but I'm going to do a welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to each and every one of you. We are so glad that you came out to help us celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Please get with the children. Please get with us. Clap your hands. Encourage the children. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're welcome once. You're welcome twice. You're welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. We had to do that too. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. We had to do it all. Hallelujah. I haven't forgotten about it. <laughs> Woo. Hallelujah. Had to do it all. Praise God. At this time, at this time, we're going to call our first person, our first young person. Praise God, a young lady. Praise God. You know who this is? It's our pastor and first lady's granddaughter. Hallelujah. At this time, Zariah. Come on, Zariah. Everybody clap and encourage her. When Christ died, I told him goodbye. When he came back to life, I told him hi. I love you, Christ. You saved my life. young lady. She loves to do everything by herself. She says she can sing it by herself. She can sing the songs by herself. Praise God. You want to take your jacket off? Praise God at this time. Yes. At this time. Praise God. We're calling on. Come on. We want to encourage her. Little sister Maya Holmes. Come on. Let's encourage her. If you love Christ because he died to save your life, then 
obey him. And wait, let me think. If you love Christ because he died to save your life, then obey him. Open open your heart. Let him in. Open your heart and let him in. Hallelujah. Let him in today. Hallelujah. The paper. Praise God. Let him in today. Hallelujah. Let him in to stay. Hallelujah. Says somebody knocking in. It must be Jesus. Let him in today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Maya. I appreciate that. Let's give her another hand. E for effort. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to have little sister Mariana Edwards. She's coming with He Left Me. Come on, let's encourage her. I look around for Jesus Christ, whom I could not see. He left me. Where did he go? I know what. He went all the way to heaven waiting for me. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Encore. Encore. Come on. You got to say this again. Encore. Let's give her a hand. Encore. <laughs> For Jesus Christ, whom I cannot see, He left me. Where did He go? I know what He went all the way to heaven, waiting for me. Amen. Come on, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's give her a hand. Come on. Let's give her a hand. Praise God. Give her a hand. Praise God. Hallelujah. Desmond Rose, praise God. His mother is not here. Praise God, but we're going to move on. Praise God. We're going to ask the children to come on up, and they have a song. They have two. We're going to represent one song at the moment. Come on, children.
for working with me and the children. Praise God. We have a couple of more recitations. Praise God. Hallelujah. At this time, at this time, and children, we know we got to encourage each and every one to come up. At this time, Chris Fortune, he's coming to you with On the Cross. Let's give him a hand. Hallelujah. Let's give him a hand. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Jesus Christ died on the cross. When I heard, I thought I was lost. He arose on the third day. He came back just like he said. Accept him for he is the only way. to God. We have a few more. Praise God. I'm on, on time. Hallelujah. At this time, we call him Tater. Tater. Hallelujah. This is also Pastor and First Lady's grandson. Praise God, grandchild. Come on, Tater. With he lives. Come on, let's encourage him. Let's encourage him. Clap your hands, everybody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus is alive. Well, Vantrell, how do you know that Jesus is alive? It's in my heart. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> nailed on the cross for this world that was lost. He was in agony and pain as he shed wait no, as he as he bled for his innocent blood he shed mm -hmm. Cry, to his heavenly father he cried then he hung his head and died. Amen! Christ shed for you and I. Praise God. Aren't you glad for the blood? Hallelujah. Aren't you glad for the blood? Hallelujah. Praise God. Because I know without a shadow of a 
was there. Now, praise God, if it had not been for the Lord on that cross, praise God, Jesus Christ, praise God who died, praise God, birth, death, hallelujah, resurrection, hallelujah, thank God for him coming again. Praise God, hallelujah, we're in for a special treat. I still don't see Sister Maisha, praise God, to represent her son Desmond, but praise God, we're in for a treat. Hallelujah, praise God. This beautiful woman of God said, I want a speech. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, it's not just for children. Praise God, the adults can participate also. Praise God, I was trying to get one myself. Hallelujah, but hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. <clears throat> At this time, I want you to give it to her. At this time, coming with they crucified my son, none other than missionary Adrian O'Mary. Let's give her a hand. <laughs> Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I did the welcome. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. I am Mary. I am the mother of Jesus. I was there on that sad, sad day as I watched how they treated my son in a real cruel way. They beat, they kicked, and they mocked him. And all I could do was pray. My son hung on the cross so the world wouldn't be lost. On that day, he wore a purple robe. And on, they placed on his head a crown of thorns. My son um, was on the cross, placed on the cross between two thieves. As I stared and watched in disbelief, I fell to my knees. My son... They found no fault in. For this, my son, they found no fault in. And he was able to conquer death, hell, and the grave. So our son, souls wouldn't be lost. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They crucified my son. Let's give it to her. Let's give it to her. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. His mother watched. Hallelujah. His mother watched there. Praise God. Hallelujah. And all she could do was pray. Glory to God. We thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to conclude. Hallelujah. With just one more song. Hallelujah. The children. We're coming with that final song. Were you there? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You there when they crucify my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? My Lord, my
when they do in the side, the side, oh, oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble. tree. Praise God. In addition to that, the sun refused to shine. Praise God. Were you there? Praise God. This definitely concludes. Praise God. Our program, our program has concluded. Praise God. But I thank God for each and every one of you being here. Praise God to support our children. Praise God. This now concludes the program and I thank each and every one of you. I thank you, Sister O'Mary. Praise God, that was beautiful. Praise God, hallelujah. At this time, I thank the parents as well. At this time, we're gonna give it over to our missionary. We're moving on further, thank you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Jesus. It's good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Amen. All of our choir, our praise team, please come forward. Thank you all for joining in with us this Resurrection Sunday, enjoying our youth. Amen. Let's give our youth another hand of praise. Amen. We thank you for your presence. Now let's give God some glory for you being here. Hallelujah, Jesus. To all of our guests, let's get ready for worship. Stand on your feet. Let's just give God some glory. Amen. We all woke up this morning. Amen. We're all here this morning. Amen. He rose for you and me. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Come on. We all know this song.
everybody. Come on. At the cross, at the cross. At the cross, at the cross. Where I first, where I first saw the light. And the and burdens, the burdens of my heart. They rolled away. away. It was there by faith. It was there by faith. I received my life. And now I'm happy. Are you happy over there? happy over there. Oh, at the cross. At the cross.
Come on. I won't forget. 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 I'll never forget. I won't forget. Oh, never. I won't forget. 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 He brought me out. I won't forget. He saved my soul. I won't forget. Never. I won't forget. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Lord, I won't forget. Oh, you heal my body. You save my soul. Never. Never. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. He got up. He got up. In my soul. Come on, say yeah. Yeah. Yes, Lord, we thank you today. God, you've been so good. You've been so good, Lord. We thank you, God. Yo, oh, glory to God. Thank you for getting up in my soul. Thank you for waking up my mind. Oh, God, we love you today. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Come on, tell him, have your way. Oh, we bless your name today. God, we love you. We bring glory fire today. God, you've been so good. We bless your name. Thank you for the stripes. God, we healed because of your death. We healed. Yes, when you got up, we healed. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God, there's none like you. Oh, we give you glory today. God, you woke up in our soul today. God, you help someone get up. You help someone get up today. Oh, healing to our bodies. We thank you, Lord. We glorify you. You've been so good to us, Lord. God, we ask that you bless that one today. Oh, touch their hearts, God. Lift burdens today, God. Send a refreshing word. Oh, we'll give you glory, God. We'll give you praise. God, it's done like you. There's none like you, God. Like you, you are the Father. Yes, God. Oh, God. You are the author and the finisher you, of our faith. You, oh, you are a present you help are in our time of need. Yes. God, you will heal our body. Yes. God, you will set free. Oh, we glorify you today. Thank you for the living word. Oh, thank you for your son, Jesus. We'll give you glory. We'll give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And amen. God bless you, saints. Scripture today is Luke chapter 6, verses 46 through 49. And it's the scripture based upon the house that's built on a rock. Why do you call me Lord? Lord, but not do what I say. I will show you what he is like who comes to me and hears my word and acts on them. He is like a man building a house who dug deep and laid his foundation upon the rock. When the flood came and when the torrent crashed against the house, could not, it could not shake it because it was built well. But the one who hears my word and does not act on them is like a man who builds his house on the ground without a foundation. When the turret crashes against the house, it immediately fell, and, a, and great was the destruction. Amen? Amen. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God, saints. Praise God. You can take your seats. Amen. God bless everyone in the house tonight. Amen. I'm going to welcome you all today. Amen. I am so happy to see everyone here today. And I just want to say the children did a bumper job. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Sister Turner, for all of your hard work. And this is your welcome for the day. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. Glory. Oh, if I had not been for Jesus, where would I be? I'm so glad. On behalf of my pastor, Gerald K. Simpkins, and of course, myself, Lady Simpkins, amen, and the whole entire Solid Rock family, amen, those that might be on Zoom or any place else you might be, we just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. Hallelujah. hallelujah. We serve a God, hallelujah, that can do anything. We serve a God, hallelujah, that he can turn your dirt into clean. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for cleaning me up. Thank you, Lord, for cleaning you up. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh. Okay, okay. I'm going to calm down. I'm just excited about what the Lord is doing. I'm excited about how he saved me and how he cleaned me up. And I'm telling you, I'm so excited about how God gave us his only begotten son. Hallelujah. His only son. Amen. He loved me enough. Hallelujah. To die for my sins. Oh, bless his name. Welcome, welcome, welcome. God bless you. I hope you return again. You know that we love you here in Solid Rock. And again, we greet you in the name of our Lord and our Savior. Jesus Christ.
worshipers who we have in the house today glory to God would you just do like this right where you are I wish I had some folk who would stand some worshipers I just need some worshipers this morning come on come on y'all help me sing y'all in the choir come on help me sing Emmanuel Emmanuel come on everybody say Emmanuel he's been so good to you yeah
this morning. Yeah. This is resurrection day. Yeah, Lord. Tell him we worship you. We worship you. Do you really? Come on, lift those hands and tell him we. God's looking for worshipers, yeah. One more time, come on, tell him we worship you. Oh, oh, oh. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. You're the healer. You're the deliverer. You're the way out of no way. You're the wheel in the middle of a wheel. You're our battle axe. You're Jehovah Rapha. You're the Lord God, our healer. We worship you today. We worship you today. Oh, 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 Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. I said we worship you, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh Lord. I feel something all down in my little, my little sanctified soul. I can feel the spirit moving. She down on the inside. I feel the power of the Lord down on the inside. I feel a moving. Somebody shout, moving, moving. All in my soul. All in my soul. All in my soul. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. say what we saying yes to pastor whatever he say whatever he wants to do whatever is his will somebody shout yes Lord somebody that will say it without reservation tell him yes Lord somebody that will say it without ambiguity tell him yes Lord somebody who's willing to do what God says do when God says do it shout yes Lord Somebody who move when God say move, shout yes, Lord. Somebody who will obey him, shout. Somebody say, Lord, Lord, have your way in my 
so. a high holy day this is the holiest days for the Christian faith resurrection day is the holiest day for the Christian I know some of y'all think Christmas is the holiest day and it's holy don't get me wrong but this is the day because if Christ had not given gotten up from the grave everything he said everything he did would have been formality in fact, if he had not gotten up from the grave, it would have been a lie. But, 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 look at somebody and tell them, but he got up. Come on, tell them he got up with all power in his hands. God got up. Yes. He got up, he got up, he got up. He got up. Death couldn't hold him down. I said death couldn't hold him down. Death couldn't hold him down. He is the risen king. And right now he's seated in majesty. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. I dare you to praise him. I dare you to let go. Let God have his way.
Listen, we got started late because we was enjoying the babies. Sister Turner, thank you very much. We thank you so much. Thank you, young people. Yeah. yeah. But listen, we, we got started late, but we started. Tell somebody I might have started late, but I'm running now. Do me a favor. I need you to, if you, if you're comfortable with this, if you're comfortable, if you're not just point, but if you're comfortable, I just want you to touch somebody and tell them power. Some of y'all missed it. Some of y'all was waiting for something else. Y'all was looking for a long sentence. I want you to tell you. No, 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 no. This all you need is power. Come on, somebody that need healing, glory to God. Tell somebody say power. Somebody that need deliverance, power. Somebody that need depression to leave. What? Somebody that need joy in your soul. Power. Yeah. For all the things. For glory to God. Power, 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 Holy Ghost power, power, I gotta pray, I gotta pray, then I wanna get it out, I gotta pray. Listen, let me say once again, this is the holiest day of the year for the Christian faith. This is it. Looks like five more people would have gave God some praise on that one. But this is the holiest day of the year. On this day, we celebrate the fact that Jesus defeated death, hell, and the grave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. I said he defeated death, hell, and the grave. And if he can defeat all them, you know he can defeat cancer, oh, arthritis, Lord depression, God. anxiety, jealousy, yes. infidelity. <laughs> Tell somebody God power. has given you power. power. Tell them, ask them power. what you're waiting on. Power. Power. Glory power. to God. Power. God has given you power. 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 Why are you losing sleep at night? God has given you power. Power. Why are you mad about stuff you can't do nothing power. about? Why God has given you power. Power. Why are you still power. holding grudges? Glory. Power. God help me today. Power. 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 I'm gonna get on down the road because. Missionary Mo stop because you, you're encouraging me. And, and it ain't gonna take much. This is a second service. And I'm still feasting on this morning service. Glory to God. Amen. Listen, let me honor the Lord. Stop it. Stop it, Dr. Cephas. Stop it. Glory to God. You and you and Bishop Bumper got something going on over there. Have, have folk trying to talk. Hallelujah. Power. Power. Let me honor the Lord. I'm, I'm grateful. Amen. I'm glad to be saved. I, I know I'm not the only one in the room. Glad to be saved. Yeah. Glad God didn't turn my life around. Amen. And as you all, as you all told me, he brought me out of darkness and into a marvelous light. That was, that what y'all told me. Glory to God. Glory to God. That, 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 Sister Sanders, that's what they told me. Glory to God. Brought me out of darkness and into a marvelous light. You know what I'm And uh, I'm enjoying the light. Anybody like me enjoying the light? Glory to God. Listen, we honor the Lord. Brother, ask you, man. It's so good to see you, Brother Marcus. Glory to God, man. Good to see you, Doc. And your lovely family. Glory to God. Cheering. Wife cheering. Grand cheering. Glory to God. Cheering. That's cheering. Some of y'all don't know. Cheering. But that's that's children, depending on what side of the track you're on, you know. Glory to God. But we honor the Lord today. I'm so grateful to be saved. Love the Lord. And I'm, I'm glad to be celebrating on this high holy day. I'm glad to be here. 
Glory to God. I'm glad to be here because it could be someplace else. Amen. As my bishop would say, I'd rather be here than the best hospital in the world. Glory to God. I'm here. Amen. I honor the Lord. And of course, I want to honor the Lord for the elders that are here. Elder Smith, Elder Moore. Uh, glory to God. I hope I haven't missed anybody. Elder Cephas. Well, he's Reverend Cephas now, but he would be elder in about four months. Glory to God. Amen. And to all of the, the, the ministers here ministering uh, in training. Glory to God. Uh, amen. Brother Shandy. Glory to God. Uh, he's, he's, he's waiting to do his trial message. Amen. Glory to God. We praise God for all of you, all of the deacons. Amen. We're glad for you, deacon brothers. Amen. So grateful for y'all. So grateful. And of course, my son is here from Reno. God bless and his lovely wife. Amen. Praise God for brother. Minister Taboo McKnight, we praise God for you, for him. Amen. To amen, the jewel of the rock, the lady Sheila Ann Simpkins. Glory to God, my son brought his jewel, brought his, his favor, brought his favor with him. Sister Ebony McKnight, praise God. Amen. Glory to God. We honor the Lord for all of you all. Mother McCoy, praise God. I know, I know you happy. I saw J.R. walk in, glory to God. I ain't going to look at him. I don't want nobody to be, be bothering him, glory to God. I ain't going to look. I'm going to look around there, you know. Good to see you. Glory to God. Good to see you. Hey Amen. Would you look at somebody and just smile at them? If you got a mask, your eyes going to say you're smiling. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hey Amen. We honor the Lord for all of you all that are here today. Hey Amen. To hey Amen. All of the, the mother's mother, Mary Robinson, our senior mother. Hey Amen. Is here. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. And, and you know what? I know we have a tendency to call this kind of habit for us to call out the leaders in the church. We acknowledge those that are in leadership and we praise God for each of you, but I got to tell you, ain't nobody more precious to heaven than you. No, let me, I'm, matter of fact, if you don't believe me, if you looked at the person next to you and they would tell you, you are precious in heaven, watch, look at them. I told you. I told you, good to see my daughter, Brianna. Good to see you, baby girl. Glory to God. You are precious in heaven. Amen. Glory to God. And because you're precious to heaven, you're precious here. Amen. Glory to God. So we honor the Lord. To all of our guests, as was stated by my wife, we show, show, show enough glad you're here. Some of y'all brought family with you. Glory to God. And we appreciate the family. I saw some of the family clapping your hand. Them old folks, glory to God. They were... They were giving God some glory. I seen, I seen them. I seen them. Glory to God. Y'all will notice that I use a lot of words that don't indicate how far I went in school, but it's kind of like, you know, amen. It's kind of part of, a part in me. Amen. Listen, let me, let's move on down the road because our time is short and I've just got to share this word. And so I've got to get on down the road today. Um, I, I got this opportunity and I might not get it again for a while. Amen. So I show, good to see you, amen, Sister Missionary Wiley, God bless you, amen, God bless you, dear sister, amen, but it is, um, I, I, I've got to share this word with you all this morning, so I'm going to just kind of cut across the field, amen, and uh, I'm going to do this, I need everybody, now this is not going to be the church where we take up seven offerings today. I know y'all been watching Facebook, I mean, we talking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Offering number five, you know, I ain't going to church because I can't afford to go to church. They need too much money. Glory. <laughs> the gas price is high. Glory to God. But listen, we're not going to take up seven offerings. We're going to take up six. six. No. All right. Listen, come on. Let's worship the Lord in the ministry of giving. By faith. We will worship the Lord in the ministry of giving. How? By faith. By faith. Somebody shout by faith. Glory to God. So I'm going to ask everybody this, to this morning. Uh, yes, it's still morning. This morning, everybody, glory to God, this time normally. Next week, y'all, next week, we're going to be just starting church right about now. Amen. I just want y'all to know. Glory to God. But if you get here at 1030 next week, it'll be good because you'll be in Sunday school. Anyway. Anyway. Glory to God. 
Sister Sanders. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sister Sanders, you haven't been here for a while, but it's so good to see you. Glory to God and your family. Glory to God and your family. Glory to God. Uh, we are so, so grateful. Amen. For you all being here. Amen. They, they showed up at the, uh, at the 8 o'clock service thinking it was 8 o'clock, but we had gotten together at 6.30 for sunrise service, right? So they said, well, we just, we just going to go to Newark then. Glory to God. Y'all ought to give God some praise for them. Come on, wave your hand so they know who I'm talking about. There you go. Glory to God. Come on, youngest son, wave your hand, man. You can't hide. Glory to God. Glory to God. So listen, I want everybody, listen, we're going to sow into ministry today. Let me tell you what happens here is uh, we're going, this is just going to be the one offering. So you don't have to hold some for next, the next offering. There won't be another one. Glory to God. Let me tell you what happened is we follow the word of the Lord and the Lord is very, very clear. Glory to God that if we give, it'll be given back to us. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. Amen. And let me tell you what's the blessing of that is, is that he doesn't always give it back to us monetarily. Aren't you glad about that? Because sometimes you need that headache to stop more than you need money right now. Sometimes you need that depression to lift. Glory to God. Amen. Some, sometimes you need to see them children come through the door. And I talk to somebody. And the fact of the matter is, some of y'all that will agree with me, sometimes it's just them grown children. We just need to see them come through the door. Glory to God. Because, you know, we tell them and, and they say, yeah, until, until they don't. And it ain't nothing you can do. Glory to God. But keep on praying. Amen. So let me encourage glory to God. And some of them children are saying, we, and we need them to talk to our parents too. Glory to God. I got like one amen and three laughs. <laughs> glory to God. Listen. But I want to uh, encourage each one of you today to sow your seeds. Amen. Sow your seeds. We sow our tithes. We pay our tithes and we give our offerings. Amen. And uh, because that's what the word of the Lord declares to us. Everybody stand on your feet. See how painless that was? Glory to God. So that means you can come back to church next week and you won't get beat up. Amen. Come on. Look at somebody and tell them, I see you next week. Ooh, so many of y'all said that. Now, y'all, y'all, y'all follow through now. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm pointing to the back. I'm hollering. Uh, follow through, follow through, follow through. Father, we thank you now for the seed that's being sown, God. We sow it to your glory. We sow it to your honor. We declare, God, that the seed that we sow is blessed. The soil into which we sow, into which we sow the, the seed is blessed. And not only that, the sower is blessed. So return to the sower 30, 60, 100 fold. And we'll give you glory and honor and praise in Jesus' name. And the people of God said amen. Amen, amen and amen. Come on. Amen. Those of you who are giving with your uh, device, you can give with uh, PayPal. You can give with Cash App. You can give with, glory to God, with GiveLify. Amen. There's an app there on the screen. Take a look at it. You'll see how you're able to give. Amen. Glory to God. Come on and receive the announcements. Glory to God, if you will. Glory to God. Praise the Lord, everybody. I am here to bring your announcements. You may take your seats. Amen. I will move quickly. Thank you, Elder Shandy. Um, so you'll see our announcements on the screen. I will also go from here. Um, I will start with the mothers. Amen. Our mother's board is having a bonus cake rally. Amen. Amen. Listen, the tickets are only $3, amen? In this raffle, you get a homemade cake, amen? Amen. Some of the cakes may be bought, but they good bought cakes, okay? Somebody else made them at home and took them to the store. So <laughs> go ahead and get your raffle tickets from the Mother's Board. You can um, see Mother McCoy, that pretty lady, she's right in the back. Or Missionary Ivory in her absence. Or Missionary Burnett, can you raise your hand, please? Amen. So that you can get your bonus cake rally tickets. Amen. 
Amen. Mother back there, she got her tickets. Amen. The Mother's Board has done so much for this church. A bunch of that parking lot in the back. Amen. From bonus cake rallies. Amen. We have some faithful mothers as I am. Amen. Amen. And we want to make sure that we get at least our upcoming events. Ladies. You hear that first lady? I think I did it right. <laughs> so our women's conference is coming up. Amen. Standing strong in the Lord, May 13th, May 14th, and May 15th. Amen. On that Friday night, as you have seen for many, many years, at least the eight years that I've been here, Overseer Renee Winston will be here that Friday night at 7 p.m. Amen. Amen. And then on Saturday, we have our brunch Brunch tickets are $40. If you go to the event on Facebook, you can click a button right there and buy your tickets for you and all of the women and young ladies in your family. Amen? Amen. We will have brunch right here, but you can also join us online. Amen? But we will have brunch right here in the sanctuary, and it turns out beautifully. Amen? Amen. I also want to mention that I believe it's next weekend, the NorCal um, Annual Women's Convention. Amen. Um, those dates are Thursday through Saturday, April 21st through 23rd. Amen. Um, we will be out at, um, I believe it's in Sacramento at Bethel Ministries, correct? Bethel Ministries. And then on that Saturday, April 23rd at 9 a.m. at Bethel Ministries in Sacramento, it is the president's breakfast, amen? They get together every year, have a good time, wear your yellow hats, amen? I think the color is yellow and hats, amen? Yellow and hats. So come on out and support. That is also the day that we show love to our first lady of the state, amen? We recommend, amen? So the tickets for that are $25. You can get those on Eventbrite. You can see the NorCal Women's Ministry that's always posting something. Um, Missionary Billingsley does a great job at that. So come out Saturday the 23rd. I will be driving up. I will be the MC for that president's breakfast. Amen. So y'all come on out. I have a minivan. Amen. I even vacuum it out for y'all. So come on out. We'll be leaving here at about 6 a.m. so that we can make sure. And Missionary O'Meary, I saw your face. <laughs> so come on out. We'll stop by Oakland and pick you up. How about that? All right, so just be sure to be aware of your announcements. They're also on the board, amen? Amen? amen. These are your announcements. Govern yourselves accordingly, and thank you. Y'all look so pretty. God bless all of you this morning. Now, listen. Uh, all right, y'all, I got 20 minutes. We're having communion today, glory to God. So those of you who have not gotten your communion, amen, the missionary uh, Edmondson, our head missionary is in the back, glory to God. And if you would like to take communion, to enjoy communion with us, participate, glory to God, we welcome you to do so, amen. And uh, we're going to do that today do that today. Amen. Somebody say, we already did it on first Sunday. The Bible says, as often as you do it, you do it in remembrance of me. So you could do it every day if you want to. Amen. Just do it as unto the Lord. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Bow your heads. Father, we love you today. We bless, praise, and magnify your name. You have been so very, very good to us, so faithfully good to us. God, you watched over us even when we were not doing what we were supposed to be doing. God, we, and, uh, you covered us even when we were dead in trespasses and sins. Thank you, Lord, for this is a day you have made. And in this day, we rejoice. We are so glad in this high holy day. Thank you, Lord, for resurrection day. Thank you, God, because you got up. We get up. Glory to God. We shall rise with you that time when you come back and meet us and we'll be caught up to meet you in the air and then we'll ever be with you. So we thank you now for this day in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Glory to God. I'm going to ask everybody to stand for just a moment, if you will. Glory to God. And uh, I'm going to uh, read a scripture 
glory to God, that all of us probably know. That all, matter of fact, folks who ain't even, don't even love the Lord know this scripture. You see this, you see this scripture at football games. Folks drinking beer, talking loud, and they got this scripture hanging from the rafters. Amen. Glory to God. And so I'm going to ask you to say the first part of this with me. Is that all right? And uh, if you don't know the whole scripture, say as much as you know and then mumble the rest. It's found in John, the book of John, John chapter 3 and 16. Glory to God. Y'all know this. Glory to God. Look at somebody tell them, I know that scripture. <laughs> Glory to God. I tell you what, glory to God, I'm going to say it once and then y'all going to be able to pick it up. Is that all right? Come on, y'all join in with me. All right. Come on. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, everybody say it one more time. What? For God. Uh-huh. That he gave his only begotten son. Yes. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Would you look at somebody and tell them love did it? Love did. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, tell them again. Whatever it is, whatever you're going through, you need deliverance. And don't worry. Love did it. You may take your seats. There was a song that re was released in 1993 by the Mississippi Mass Choir, led by Reverend James Big Nun. And in this song, it speaks to, well, this whole resurrection season. The song was entitled, It Wasn't the Nails. My brother, would you help me, sir? Come on, give God a praise. Come on, everybody, put your hands together. Come on, put your hand together. I want to take your mind back to a hill called Calvary where Jesus died, paid the price for your sins and mine. Anybody here know he died for you? I want to get the fruits of your lips I want you to know it wasn't the spikes that they put in his feet that held him to the cross. It wasn't the spear that they speared him in the side that held him to the cross. Can I get somebody to say yes here? I want you to know it wasn't the nails that they nailed.
and give God some praise. Come on, come on, come on. Somebody shout power. Come on, shout power. Glory to God. Listen, I want to talk to you this morning for just a few minutes. Glory to God. And I want you again to look at somebody and tell them love did it. 
Glory to God. It wasn't the nails that held our Lord and Savior to the cross. He was not afraid of the soldiers that the centurion had brought out there. He wasn't afraid, glory to God, of the Pharisees or the Jews or the Sanhedrin court. It was the only thing that kept him on the cross was his love for you and I. Y'all hear me? Glory to God. His love for us. Glory to God. And I want you to understand that Jesus demonstrated the love he expected for us to model to the world. I said Jesus demonstrated the love that he expected us to model to the world. First of all, let me say that the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Glory to God. And so first of all, God gave. God gave his son. Glory to God. First of all, God extended his love to us. Even when we were dead in trespasses and sins, God gave. Look at somebody and tell them God gave. God gave. Glory to God. While we was cutting up, God gave. While we was outside of the will of God, God gave. While we would not listen to God, God gave. When we told the Holy Ghost, I don't want to hear it, glory to God, God gave. God gave his only begotten son, glory to God. And I want you to know, let, let, me, let me just clear this up right now. I heard some folk talking about this, about the fact that, uh, you and you all remember them talking about this too, that, that God looked around heaven, glory to God, and he was trying to find somebody who could come and redeem man from their sins. And uh, Elijah, no, Elijah couldn't do it. And Samuel, glory to God, couldn't do it. Glory to God. And David couldn't do it. And none of the, ain't listen. God didn't have to look around, nor did he look around for anybody. From the very beginning, Jesus was going to come, wrap himself in human flesh, and die for us to redeem us back to him. There was no accident, mistake, glory to God. It wasn't no second thought. Look at somebody and tell them you weren't an afterthought. God had you in mind at the beginning. Tell them, tell them, tell them. Yeah, I know it's popular to say that, and it might even sound good, but it ain't accurate. <laughs> God knew from the beginning Jesus was going to come because he knew what he had created. He had created a man, glory to God, who had free will. Glory to God. He had man who had free will. You have free will. That's why it took some of us so long to get here. Glory to God. I wish I had a mirror. I'd put it up right here and show my face. Glory to God. Took me a long time to get here. Glory to God. I was 31 years old when I decided to stop hitting myself over the head with a hammer. Glory to God. So you got to understand, Brother Cephas. I'm just trying to talk to y'all. Glory to God. I only got a few minutes, so I got to hurry up. Glory to God. I can't do it like I did this morning, but I need you to know. For God so loved. Come on, somebody shout first. God gave, God gave, God gave. First, God gave. And secondly, glory to God. Secondly, in John's account, glory to God, the book of St. John, at the Last Supper, glory to God, Jesus issued uh, his disciples a new commandment. It's found in that same obscure book in the Bible. You know St. John. Yeah, in that same book in the Bible, glory to God. I, I was just kidding about the obscure part. It's right there in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I just thought I'd say that. But in any event. Glory to God. In that same book, in Matthew, in John chapter 13, verse 34 and 35, he says, uh, this is the second one. After God gave, Jesus says, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. Yeah. Glory to God. He says, by this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have loved one another. Look at somebody and tell them, I love you. And I'm going to act like it. When you love somebody, glory to God, you can't just try and find a way to make them mad. Glory to God. You just can't keep talking when you know they want to say something. I'm talking about if you love something. 
I knew I wasn't going to get no amen then. But listen, you got to understand when you love somebody, you can't just go talking about folk. You can't get you and another person to talk about the person you said you love. When you love somebody, glory to God, you want to see them happy. You want to see them blessed. When you love somebody, you want to do things that encourage and lift them. When you love somebody, glory to God, you don't try and find fault with them. When you, yeah, when you love somebody, glory to God, you try and make sure that they are secure in their position in life. When you love somebody. You try and find a way to be kind to them when you love somebody. Glory to God. The Bible said love is patient and love is kind. Glory to God. You know what else love is? Love is long suffering. I'm talking to some short tempered folk. I'm, I, you know, they done got on my last nerve. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Not one more time. They better not say nothing else. Come on, long suffering. Glory to God. Long suffering. When you love folks and you're long suffering, you don't make everybody that make a mistake in church a hypocrite. Because some folk, glory to God, God is delivering. He's bringing them from the place that they were. And they dropped some stuff off along the way. But they still got some more stuff that got to drop. Can I talk to five or six folk? Glory to God, I just knew I was going to get more amens than this, but it's all right. I'm not changing up the message. I'm staying here. Glory to God. You got to understand something. When you love people, glory to God, you got to be patient with folk. Glory to God. You got to be as patient with them as you want some folk to be patient with you. Talking about that's just your truth. No, your truth is a lie. That ain't no truth. But when you love, come on, love. Someone say love. Love. When you love, for glory to God, you want to, them to be blessed. Pastor, you already said that, but it bears repeating. Say it again. You want them to be blessed. Be, look at somebody and tell, be nice to me. Glory to God. I'm sensitive. Glory to God. Be, 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 be kind to me. I, I need somebody to have patience with me because I mess up sometime. I, you the pastor, I know, and I mess up sometime. I need somebody to understand I am not being a hypocrite when I stumble and fall. Now, if that becomes my lifestyle, that's another thing. Can I talk to somebody today? Glory to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just stumbled and fell. No, no, no. They look like they crawling. They didn't stumble. And they still down. They, they, please. Hey, but even in that, come on, say even in that. My love for you causes me to want to encourage you to stand up. Encourage you to live up. To rise. Come on, say rise. rise. Glory to God. Look at your neighbor and tell them we can live better than this. God's given us power. We don't have to stay down. God's given us power. We don't have to walk defeated. God's given us power. I don't have to take that man's mess. God's given me power. I, I, I almost want to say somebody shout power. But I'm not ready for that yet. I better hurry because I only got five minutes. Let me go to Isaiah 53. And beginning at verse number three, it says, He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and pain and acquainted with grief. I'm reading out of the Amplified Version. And like one from whom men hide their faces... He was despised, and we did not appreciate his worth or esteem. We did not esteem him. Verse number four says, but in fact, 
He has borne our griefs and he has carried our sorrows and our pains. Yet we ignorantly assume that he was stricken by God and degraded and humiliated by God. Mm -hmm. But you need to understand that he was wounded for our transgressions and he was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of his peace was all, my peace was on him and with his stripes we are healed. Look at your neighbor and tell him, neighbor, you're healed. Healed from broken heartedness. You're healed. Healed from depression. You're healed. You're healed from insecurity. You're healed. Come on, touch him again. Tell him, I've got power. And you're healed. You don't have to be broken any longer. You're healed. You don't have to walk down any longer. You're healed. You don't have to be angry and frustrated and jealous. You're healed. God has given you power to walk in authority. He's given you power to love the folks that are unlovable. He's given you power to love those that don't love you back. He's given you power to stand in the middle of a crowd and live holy when everybody is doing wrong. God has given you the power to still do right. You've got power. Tell somebody, I've got power, power. I've got power, Holy Ghost power. Yes, yes, Lord. You gotta understand, first God gave. And then secondly, Jesus gave. But on the third one, and I got to close with this one. People can know that we love and follow Jesus when they see us show others the kind of love that he showed us. But when people, glory to God, you say, Jesus, I have Jesus in my life. And they keep on lying. When they say Jesus is in my life and they keep on trying to take from other folk. When they say Jesus is in my life and they trying to get over on people. When they say Jesus is in my life and they trying to steal and destroy the reputation of others. Somebody lying because God said you've got to have kindness. You've got to have patience. You got to have long suffering. You got to be kind and gentle and meek. I'm talking about somebody shout meek. Meek is not the same thing as weak. I know they sound alike, but they're absolutely different. Meek says, glory to God, meek says that I have a power, but it's under control. I have power, but I know how to handle myself. I got power. But I don't have to use it on you. I got power. Glory to God. That's what meekness is. Meekness, glory to God, is the opposite of being weak. I told y'all some years ago that meekness was an iron fist in a velvet glove. It can go wherever it needs to go without tearing stuff up. But some folks declared, I am of the Lord. I live for the Lord. And everywhere they go, they pulling stuff down everywhere they go they find an argument everywhere they go they find difficulty it's always somebody else's fault don't look around look at me it's always somebody else's problem I ain't never done nothing they always doing it to me wherever I go you just answered your own question wherever you go that's where you are Somebody shout love. Love. You got to understand that it wasn't the nails that held Jesus on the cross. He wasn't afraid of those centurions. Matter of fact, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. 
And the earth was without form and void. And the spirit of the Lord moved on the face of the earth. And then God said, let there be. And there was. And even before that, he had determined that he was coming to save me. Before the foundations of the world. He had me on his mind. Look like I'm not the only one. There must be another 10 or 15 folks who will jump up and tell him, thank you, Lord. Thank you for considering me. Thank you for reaching out and picking me up. And turning my life all around. Thank you God for saving me. From a life of sin. Saving me. From alcohol and drugs. Saving me. From being a liar. Saving me. I used to get in fights. Saving me from fighting all this. Saving me from jail. I was telling the brother today. In about two weeks. I have 38 years. Clean and sober, having drank, having used in 38 years, having been to jail in 37 years. I had to go one time after I stopped. <laughs> Y'all don't mind a transparent pastor, huh? Yeah. No, we want a pastor that's perfect. Don't, you don't want no pastor then. <laughs> <laughs> you, want Glory, you better just hang with Jesus. And if you hang with him, he's going to tell you to get yourself a pastor. A pastor that loves God and will live holy. Who will tell you the truth. Based on the word of God. Who will not be moved by whether or not you pay tithes or not. Time is up. Lift your hands. Hey, Romero. Lift your hands. Now listen, I probably should have qualified the request to lift your hands. I probably should have said, matter of fact, I'm going to say that now. I'm amending my statement. If there's anybody who needs God to move on your life right now, you lift your hands. If there's anybody who needs God to make some shifts and adjustments in your life and you're willing to make those shifts and adjustments based on the direction of the Holy Ghost and the Word of God. If that's you, lift your hands. If there's anything in your life and you know that you don't want to live with that thing. And the Holy Ghost keeps pricking you. Keeps touching you and saying, drop it, let it go. If that's you and your hands are up, I want you to say this with me. Lord Jesus, on this resurrection day, lift me up. Lift me up. I want to live up. I want to live holy. I want to live right. Forgive me, Lord. Now, come on. You got to say this one with, from your heart. Say it with your mouth, but say it with your, from your heart. Come on, say, Lord Jesus, I'm so sorry for everything I've done wrong. Forgive me, Lord. Come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my savior. Cause me to walk upright. Cause me to live holy. Give me power to stand. In the name of Jesus. Come on, shout, it is so. It is so. And it shall not be otherwise. Now, if you prayed that prayer in a minute, clap your hands and tell him, yes, Lord. Come on, tell him, yes, Lord, communion. Come on, tell him yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Listen, we're getting ready to have communion, but just in case there's somebody here today, you need a church home. You need a shepherd, even as I was just sharing. You need a church home. You need a church. You cannot be saved and homeless. That's disobedient. 
That's disobedience. The Lord, in fact, said, I'll give you shepherds after my own heart who will feed you. Glory to God. If you're here today and you need a church home, just lift your hands. I want to see you. Glory to God. You want to make a commitment, glory to God, and decide, you know what? I need a church home. And I'm going to make this decision, glory to God, because it's the best thing for my life. I've been trying to do this thing by going from here to there and not going at all sometimes. But I need to be under guidance and direction of Holy Ghost field pastor. Come on, you can lift your hands. Glory to God. Lift your hand. Glory to God. I sure want to receive it. Glory to God. I sure will receive you. I will receive you. Glory to God. All right. Glory to God. I hear you, baby. I see you, precious. Glory to God. Glory to God. I see you waving your hand. Glory to God. But you already a member of the church. Say, I want to join again. Glory to God. God bless everybody. Amen. Here today, I pray that something was said that challenged you to live closer to God's will. Good to see you. Glory to God. Everybody, this is communion day. We're going to have communion. Does everybody have a communion packet? Glory to God. If you've got one, if you don't have one, just raise your hand. There you go. Missionary Edmondson. There you go. Glory to God. That's it. So good to see you, precious. Glory to God. You need one. You need one. Glory. You just. Yeah, you. All right. Glory. All right. Glory to God. Glory to God. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are there any others? Glory to God. Now, I know normally we have a formality, a way we do it. Praise God. Good to see you. Praise God. We've been knowing each other for 50 years. Glory to God. Glory to God. Listen, I know normally we will, you know, read some scriptures and everything, but, and there's nothing wrong with that. But today, we, you know, can I say this? Like Elder Moe was saying, we're going straight from the shoulders. Glory to God, from the shoulders. Amen. Come on. The Bible says, if you've got your packet, if you'll pull out, everybody stand, everybody stand, everybody stand. Father, as we join with you today, we share this communion, God, and you said as often we do this, we do so in remembrance of you, our Lord and our Savior. And afterwards, the Lord took the bread, broke it and gave to each of his disciples and they said, take and eat. But this is my body, which is broken for you, the body of the Lord, my brothers and sisters, please, the body of the Lord, please take the body of the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. This represents his broken body, y'all. Glory to God. And in like manner afterwards, he took the cup. The cup that represented the New Testament in his blood. And he says, as often as you eat this bread and drink of this cup, you do show my death until I shall return again. Please, the blood of the Lord, my brothers and my sisters. Hallelujah. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. Help me. I know it was the blood for me. For me. Oh, one, one day, day when I was lost, lost, he died on the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. Come on, help me sing. I know it was. I know it was the blood. Yes, I know. I know it was. For me, oh, one day when I was lost, he died on the cross, and I know it was the 
blood it was my savior's blood it was my savior's blood yes it was yes it was for me oh one day when i was lost jesus died on the cross and i know Oh, they pierced him in the side. They pierced him in. Yes, they did. They pierced him in the side. For me. Oh, one day. Jesus died on the cross. I got one more verse. I got one more verse. Well, the blood came streaming down. Yeah. Yes, it did. For me, for me, for me. Oh, one day. And I know. Last time, last time. I know it was. I know. Yes, I do. My saving blood. For me. Oh. Saints of God, the Bible says they sang a hymn and they went out. I would you all would have a wonderful rest of the resurrection day. God bless you all. Greet some folks and tell them you love them with the love of the Lord. Now, tell them like you mean it. Oh, I'm sorry. There are baskets in the back for the children. There's baskets, Easter giveaways for the children in the back. Please send your babies back there. Amen. Or go pick up a couple for your babies. Can't do all them children.